There's a patch of grass here by the stream. I can remember in the 90s a boy named Johnny sitting there. Don't Think Twice by Bob Dylan blared out in the background of the speakers. He listened to the words carefully, as if the answers of the universe had been hidden in the lyrics. Twenty-three years earlier, another woman, her name Susan, sat in the same spot Johnny was in on that warm summer night, giddy from the concert that she had just been at. It was a Bob Dylan concert as well. Susan was Johnny's mom, but Johnny never knew that his mom was a Bob Dylan fan. A boy from the Kickapoo tribe ventured into the woods somewhere in the 1800s with a bow and an arrow. A deer stopped in front of him, and the boy trains his bow and arrow ready on the deer to make a shot. He's wanting to make a skin purse out of the deer's hide if he can bag it. In fact, he's actually trying to think if he can make two, one for himself and one for a girl that he's fond of. He waits patiently as the deer comes to a complete stop. The deer approaches the water and bends to drink. As it bends the stream, the boy fires his arrow. A railroad bridge was just built. A farm boy and this little slave girl are crossing. She's really scared, but he holds her hand and tells her to trust him. She closes her eyes, follows him over the bridge. The further they go, the tighter he grasps her hand. When they finally stop, she opens her eyes. He looks at her and wonders if she's okay. She just smiles. A couple days from now, she's hung on this very same bridge. It hasn't been long since the Pearl Harbor attacks. It's in the winter, sometime in the 1940s. Like everyone else, Jim was so excited to be in the military. He had enlisted in the 101st Airborne Division. But today, the furthest thing from Jim's mind was the war. It was getting darker. Him and this girl Nicole were sitting on the gun. They were getting ready to share their first kiss. Nicole had figured it was probably too early to tell him how she really felt. But seeing as he was leaving soon, she had no choice. She leaned over and whispered something into his ear. I couldn't hear the words. A few days later, Jim shipped out. Not long after, she found out that Jim had died in a parachuting accident in Omaha. His chute, like many others, had malfunctioned. At every bend, there's a story like a faded memory trapped here. I've collected them, one by one, as if they're my own. Moments that many people have forgotten. At the bottom of this river here is where I lay. I've laid here to rest many years ago. Somehow I ended up here, I don't know how. I've been here for a very long time. Days, years, centuries, 
I'm not exactly sure. Maybe my story matters less than all of these I've collected. Maybe my story is not for me to tell.